Welcome to this answer explanation video for perimeter of a rectangle. This video will talk through the answers to the perimeter of a rectangle worksheet and have a look at some of the tricky bits. Let's make a start looking at the perimeter of a rectangle. Hannah has a square and three other rectangles. She has written the perimeter of one rectangle underneath it. Some information is missing, but the total perimeter of all four shapes is 420 centimetres. We can see the four shapes there. I've written them again here just so I can show you which part I'm working on as we go along. So I have my square here. We have missing values A and B. The perimeter of that shape is C. Then my second shape, I have D is the missing value. The perimeter is E. Then for this shape, the perimeter is F. And for our final shape, this length here is G. So we're looking for our missing values A all the way through to G. It looks like a lot of information, but what we need to do is look at what we can use first. The perimeter of this shape has already been written down. The perimeter is 100 centimetres. We're going to think about what we know about the perimeter of a rectangle. We know that this side here and this side here are the same. And then this side here and this side here are the same. We already know the perimeter is 100 centimetres. So one of the calculations we can do is 100 centimetres and we can subtract the 20 from this side and the 20 from this side. Which would leave us with 60 centimetres. So we know that the value of this side here and this side here together is 60 centimetres. To find one side on its own, we can do 60 centimetres divided by two equals 30 centimetres. So the value of G is 30 centimetres. The next value we can work out is F. We can find the perimeter of this shape because we know that the width is 10 centimetres and the length is 60 centimetres. Thinking back to how we did this in the video tutorial, we can add the two values together So 10 centimetres at 60 centimetres is 70 centimetres. And then we can multiply that by two because we know that we have two sides that are 10 centimetres and two sides that are 60 centimetres. So the value of F is 140 centimetres. So we now have the value of F, which is 140 centimetres, and the value of G, which is 30 centimetres. We can use that information to calculate the missing values for the first two shapes. So we know that the total perimeter is 420 centimetres. We can now subtract the perimeter of this shape here and the perimeter of this shape here to leave the perimeters of the two remaining shapes. So we could have 420 centimetres, take away 100 centimetres, that's the perimeter here, and then subtract further 140 centimetres because that's the perimeter of this shape here. Our answer is 180 centimetres. So the combined perimeter of this shape and this shape is 180 centimetres. So that means we can start to have a look at the missing values. This is where you might have different options for the answers that you have. And I'm just going to model one way to do it. But if you found another way to do it, that's absolutely fine. I'm going to have a look at this shape first. I think the perimeter of that shape could be 80 centimetres. I know that that shape is a square. It said so in the, in the instruction. Hannah has a square and three other rectangles. I therefore know that each of these sides must be exactly the same length. So if I have four sides, I can do 80 centimetres divided by four, which would give me 20 centimetres for each length. So that means that A and B must be 20 centimetres. And we also have our perimeter, which is C, and that's 80 centimetres. That leaves me with the perimeter of E, being 100 centimetres. Because my value here 
180 centimetres, which was rema the remaining perimeter for both of these shapes, subtract 80 centimetres, the perimeter of my square, leaves me with 100 centimetres. We can then use that information and the length of this side here to work out the final value, which is D. We know that our perimeter is made up of four different numbers. We already have 10 centimetres here. 10 centimetres times two is 20 centimetres, so we're going to subtract the value of both of those. So we could have 100 centimetres, subtract 20 centimetres, equals 80 centimetres. And then that 80 centimetres is the value of this side plus this side. Our final step is going to be to divide that by two. Now we've split that in two, we have the value of just this side on its own, and that's 40 centimetres, and that's our final missing value. As I explained before, this is one way of finding the answers to this particular question. There might be other possibilities. As long as the perimeter of all four shapes adds up to 420, your answer should be correct too. That was a video explaining the answers to the perimeter of a rectangle worksheet from Classroom Secrets. For a video tutorial on the same step, go to kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk and for more worksheets, go to classroomsecrets.co.uk. Thanks for watching.